Welcome, your beautiful faces, to my video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. <laughs> so, last time uh, I made a video, it was on Call of Duty Ghosts. Got a moderate review again, because, you know, not many people like Call of Duty Ghosts, but, you know, that's neither here or there. Since then, there's been so many updates, so many things have changed in the ways of gaming. A lot has definitely changed, so... Such as this, for instance, this Evolve video, basically a lot of new DLC and downloadable, well, <laughs> DLC means downloadable content and content in general has come out since the last time I made a video. So today, as of this recording, it's now November the 6th, uh, the 6th of November, depending on how you say it and where you're, where, what parts in the country you're from. So if you guys don't know, this is the Gorgon, this is the brand new monster that came out on Halloween or close to Halloween. At some stage, it came out a few weeks, oh, I think it came out a week just before Halloween. And this is more of like an overview of this uh, monster. Now, I haven't played Evolved for such a long time. I, I didn't touch it after I made those uh, few videos. I didn't touch it for a while, kind of went off it because, you know, I was playing on my PS3. And uh, since then, a lot has changed in the way that Evolve um, plays, especially now considering they have, like, the new monster implemented and they have new hunters that are meant to be coming. That's pretty cool. I thought that was amazing. So that was one of the main features that I wanted to do. Um, basically... This new monster was just to revive the, you know, Evolve series because they only had, I think it was five monsters in general, and they needed basically something newer to, you know, comprehend or, you know, newcomers who hadn't bought the game yet to get a reason to pay or play the game. Now, if you guys don't know, the I, you actually have to buy this one unless, unless you had the special edition one. You basically got everything for free and they uh, gave you skins, skin decal, so it looked different. I think the um, behemoth was for free anyway. I mean, I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but I know for one thing for sure that I got most of the monsters for free. Uh, this one I had to pay I had about £7.99, I think it was. And to be fair, it's well worth it. It was really was. This thing, this monster is amazing. The thing that I like about this monster more than the others is that you have to actually be tactical. You have to be quite thoughtful on what you want to do and how you want to play the game. And this monster itself has some amazing movesets that is only found and unique in this one monster the gorgon the gorgon is fantastic and it reminds me of spider-man a lot uh, there's a bit that's coming up and it's just it looks amazing especially the way that it flies through the air um which is the part that's coming up now it looks fantastic just the way that it just jumps and leaps in the air it's amazing and it looks scary i find this monster scary i mean i don't like spiders anyway <laughs> i would never touch one but this monster the way that it looks the way that they they captured the, the you know the feel of this monster you could feel man that they put a lot of effort into making this one monster and i also know that they i also know that they have been trying to re-release evolve for well, for all the D downloadable content that came out earlier on in the year on the game's release. So basically, instead of buying the special edition like I did, where you have the wristbands and the badge and stuff, you have all the DLC uh, coming into one, you have all the skin decals, everything. No matter what it is, you get it. So that, that was pretty impressive. But what type of movesets does this um, uh, Gorgon have? Now this Gorgon is amazing. So one of them is the Web Snare, which is what I just used. Basically, it slows down your prey and also poisons them. So not only do you get a, you know, a potential kill or almost a certain kill, it poisons them as well. So even if they do manage to get away, uh, you know, they're poison. They are losing health quite rapidly as well, which you know, obviously isn't good. Spider Traps. This thing is absolutely amazing. Spider traps are essentially a, a way of, um, you know, like how the, the trapper would uh, stick the fork into the ground and if the monster walks, walks past, the sensors would go off and it would slow you down, if not hold you in place. And you have to, you know, break that off in order to keep moving, which is really annoying because, you know, the trapper is just the most annoying person, especially if they... If, especially if somebody knows what they're doing as well is the most annoying thing but the spider traps are basically a way to kind of counter those so instead of them countering you you leave them down so if they're following you you lay one down and not only does it take a lot of damage to take down 
um, especially in the first stage because you have like a three star system first star or oh, well not getting a single star has you know minimum health minimum damage uh, one star gives it an extra boost of about 10% second star 50 and then 100 takes you know a max so it does maximum damage has maximum health and takes longer to kill and it is amazing Oh, the mechanic for that is fantastic because not only does if a human walks past these things, not only does it eat and encase it, it also drains their health and runs away from the other hunters. So it may essentially, instead of them following you, their main focus is to get their body out of that freaking spider's back, man, because it's chewing on them. It's ridiculous. Another one that this um, Gorgon has is Acid Split or Spit <laughs> because, you know, when you, when the, I didn't use it in at all, and I haven't used it yet, but the acid spit is absolutely fantastic. Basically, instead of using the flamethrower, which you would use for the Goliath, which I'm going to compare it to a lot, instead of that, basically, it's all, its main function is, instead of them, you know, you know, the flamethrower leaving, like, substantial burn damage, instead of that, it leaves them on the floor, and as soon as they start trying to run away, the acid stays on them as if they were, on, well, burning, basically. Um, and the acid makes it impossible for them to stay in one spot without being killed. And they basically have to move and have to leave you alone. There's no two ways about it. And the last one that this has is Mimic. Uh, basically, you guys have seen it twice already. That's when, uh, you know, the, Gorg the Gorgon lifts up on its back legs and just stands there and it makes a clone of itself. Not only is it a clone of itself, it's essentially a clone of you. So if you wanted to be misleading and misguiding, you could actually send it the wrong way. So then, uh, you know, if uh, somebody was using the Trapper and they had Daisy on their team, you could misguide them to that one, uh, one monster. Whereas you're going the opposite direction, which I found was pretty cool. And it's just amazing to see that they put a lot of time and effort into it. Not only that, you can explode the uh, the mimic of your of yourself the clone of you that's a pretty cool feature because you know the only other uh, creature a little bit like that would be the the kraken the kraken when he does like certain move sets it kind of copies or the warumph the warumph is another one that is uh, that uses the mimic kind of um, you know thing it kind of clones itself and then goes in one direction whilst you go to the complete other that basically makes you you know invisible temporarily whilst you go the other direction and that's pretty cool that's really cool and the monster itself is absolutely fantastic i had no i think the first two games that i had was a massive struggle not only was it a massive struggle, struggle it, it, i had to, I had to get used to the game so i stayed in for about three matches three matches max and that was it i was destroying teams with this monster i absolutely love it i think it's the best thing that they've done so far um, and they just know when to deliver on what they need to do and it's wicked to see that pardon me <laughs> so if you guys still haven't bought evolved yet or a ps4 i should really highly consider doing it especially now because everything is now moving on to the ps4 i still have that gta video that i said that i was going to bring you guys and that is definitely coming because you know it puts my point across there you go that was the mimic not only that the one bad thing about the mimic uh, that I actually forgot is if it takes on too much damage or if it gets um, if it you know certain wildlife hit it too much it just disappears and doesn't explode at all so it's like a dud basically so, there you go see like here go up towards him triangle BAM just explodes and it takes off a lot of damage it takes over half their health which is pretty damn impressive if you ask me I've been having some mic issues, um, if you guys did not know. My PX22 seems to be messing up, especially with a lot of static issues. So I've had to revert back to my PX12s or PX21s. That's it, PX21s. And they seem to be doing the job just fine. So I'm sorry if there's any, you know, static, any funny noises here and there. There shouldn't be. There's nothing electrical in this room. It's just me, a laptop, and that's it. So... I just wanted to say that off on the uh, off chance, but one thing's for sure, if you guys have not bought this game yet, you guys really need to consider getting a PS4, if not <laughs> an Xbox One, as much as I hate to say it, but uh, that's, uh, that's the thing that's going to happen, because everything is now moving towards the next generation consoles, and there isn't much left on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. It's sad to see it, but it's going to happen. So as this video is coming to a close, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give a like, button, comment, and subscribe, and there'll be a ton more videos coming along this week. 
uh, especially over on the weekend, and I hope to see you guys then. Lax and 13, not of the Census Bros. Peace. See you guys in the next video.